Uh, today's video is going to be about an interesting little program called Photo Sketcher, uh, primarily a special effect program. And I'm going to just dive right in here. I have uh, selected an uh, image that has a lot of dramatic color changes. And I'm really going for the paintbrush effect, such as an artist might do. And so in Photoshop, I have edited this image and got it just about as dramatic as I want to get it. And once I get that, then I would uh, go to save as a JPEG, which I've already done. So cancel that. Go back into my image viewer, and this is what I've saved in JPEG. And if I was to right click, go to File Properties, Details, that's a 6,000 by 4,000 pixel image, which is a little big for working in Photo Sketcher, but I'm going to show you how to reduce that. So Go ahead and open up that image. Here's my JPEG. I'll put that aside for now. Now you could uh, go ahead and use this and draw with a 6,000 pixel image, but it takes a long time and the brush strokes are going to be smaller. So the way around that is to resize source image or control R on your keyboard and there's my 6,000 pixel image I want to change that to 4,000 it's a good starting point that'll make it smaller and uh, I'm gonna go to painting 10 I like that one it seems to be as close as I can get to what I want to do and I save my uh, favorite settings by doing a screen save. And so if I find a setting that I like, I, I usually just, you know, let's pretend here I'm already done. I would hit the function key and the print key on my keyboard. And at that point, I would go down to my paint program paste and there it is uh, zoom out a little bit and then I would save that as a JPEG but I've already done that so uh, we'll just go ahead and leave this program now uh, I want to go back bring up that uh, image where my settings are There we go. And you can see on the first one, I'm way over to the right. And then I've got these other ones adjusted too. So I go all the way over on this one. I go, what, 170, something like that. Um, 38, and I'll go 89. Okay, and at that point, once you got your uh, drop down brush stroke selected, slider, I generally don't do the soften edge or the textures, so I pretty much have played around with this enough to know hit the draw button there. And then it's going to take about five minutes or so for this to work, so I will pause right there. Well, we're about halfway processing this image here. You can see there's a little slider at the bottom. It tells you what the progress is. And on the right, there's all kind of interesting things going on there. And all you can do at this point is just wait till it's done. There's 
nothing you can do in a program until it finishes up. So I'll pause and we'll wait. So after Photo Sketcher's done, I save it as a JPEG again, give it a unique name. And uh, as you see, I hover my mouse over that image. It's uh, 3,500 pixel wide. If I go down to this one, it's 4,000 pixel wide. This one, 6,000 pixels. And the difference is pretty plain to see as the details get smaller, the paint, the paintbrush is smaller, more detailed. So uh, it definitely changes the look uh, as far as how big the image is when you first start. So that's a 6,000. It's a 3500. It's quite a quite a difference. And actually, I have a preference for the more painterly effect there. We'll zoom in a little bit. And the computer is actually doing a pretty decent job on uh, making your photograph look like a painting. I mean, I'm not an artist, and I couldn't do this but I can operate this program. And to me, you know, I think that looks pretty good. I would put that up on my wall. Well, going into uh, Photoshop again. Uh, there's our image. Well, that's one of them. And so I decided to play around and see if I could uh, make it even more dramatic. These up. So, yeah, I can make it look uh, pretty saturated, pretty wild by editing some more in uh, Photoshop. I probably would uh, kind of take out those white spots there a little bit, uh, a little distracting, but. Uh, well, the rest of it looks pretty good. I, I kind of like that. So that's kind of what I started with, and uh, that's kind of what I ended up with. So Photo Sketcher's done now, and this little screen pops up to let you know that it's finished. And uh, now you can uh, zoom in or move it around. Click on it, right, so you get a uh, pretty good idea if you like it or not. You know, if you look at that and say, well, you know, I actually think I'd rather have some smaller brush strokes. And so go ahead and move that slider down a little bit and see what else would I want to do. Um, It's totally subjective. Um, the only thing I can kind of predict is the saturation. Uh, these other ones, you just have to move them around a little bit and then uh, hit the draw button again and it'll start over and do it again. And so that's how you would uh, do your testing. A lot of experimentation there to see if uh, anything comes up that you like. So if you decide, well, I don't want to wait for that to finish, there's a little interrupt process. Just hit the escape button on your keyboard. I uh, really wish to stop. Okay, yeah. And so that <laughs> that's only part way, so... It's just a mess. Um, but it's about as easy as that. It's just a neat little program you could play around with. And uh, maybe you come up with something good. And so I'm going to go ahead and just stop right there.
and uh, I'll leave it up to the audience to maybe play with the program and come up with something good. <laughs>